One day, you're doing your weekly shopping when, oh dear, the person next to you coughs without covering their mouth. You find it a little bit rude, but you continue going shopping. Meanwhile, some viruses have entered your lungs and they start brushing against the cells. The cells detect this and start releasing lots and lots of chemical alarm signals which awaken your immune system. As this happens, a special cell called a macrophage arrives and starts eating up viruses. We explained how they do this in our first video, so check it out if you haven't yet. Unfortunately, they can't deal with all the viruses in your body. As the remaining ones start to enter your cells, tinkering around with their DNA and infecting them. Now the infected cells start producing more viruses and start melting away to release them. Infected cells also release these special type of proteins called interferons. A special type of dendritic cell called a plasmaceoid dendritic cell pick these up and then enter the lymph nodes, the superhighway of your immune system. They're searching for killer T cells, which are like helper T cells in a bacterial infection, but slightly different. The main difference is that the killer T cells are like a window to the interior of cells. They can detect viruses, and if they detect that the cell has virus as factories inside, it orders it to self-destruct. The infection is already getting better but the immune system still needed one final push. It's like a skin, but for the lungs, and it's called the epithelial barrier, which protects the lung tissue from viruses and pathogens. Now with the epithelial cells, the macrophages and the killer T cells, your lungs have already gotten better after about two weeks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.